A former Santa Cruz County Supervisor candidate in 2012, now he's a bar owner. He's been arrested for dispensing more than just beer. He's Rich McKinnis. His legal name is Thomas. He was arrested for running an illegal marijuana dispensary out of the Seabreeze Tavern in Rio Del Mar. Action News reporter Phil Gomez says that McGinnis' problems run deeper than just his recent yeah, marijuana July 9th, arrest. The sheriff's newly formed marijuana enforcement team, along with California Alcohol Beverage Control, raided the well-known Seabreeze Tavern after receiving a number of complaints that the owner was operating an illegal marijuana dispensary. Thomas Rich McGinnis bought the Seabreeze Tavern in 2006, and the community had high hopes the new owner would turn the neglected property back into a thriving business. But neighbors say nothing has really changed. We all had high hopes for it uh, when he took ownership in 2007, I believe. Uh, since then, it's been a continual eyesore uh, to a point now that it's just a mess down there. And recently it was raided. Police found inside the tavern, hidden behind a white sheet, a glass display case filled with marijuana edibles, loose marijuana, rolled joints, even software for forging California medical marijuana cards. Mr. McGinnis was arrested for uh, forgery and uh, possession of marijuana for sale, and he was transported to the county jail. He posted $5,000 bail, but McKinnis' problems don't stop there. The county is suing him because he failed to comply with a November order to remove two large shipping containers on his adjoining property. So far, he's been fined $2,500 and has a court hearing in September. Maybe a court order and uh, an order by a judge would have more meaning to Mr. McGinnis. What we're looking for is is compliance rather than penalty. I mean, we'd prefer seeing those shipping containers removed. The Rio Del Mar Improvement Association says they tried to convince McKinnis to clean up his parcels, but were met with resistance. We've tried to play nice, and uh, he's just fought us left and right and has been uh, anything but helpful to try and uh, be part of the community. And the California Alcohol Beverage Control says they also may take action that could include a fine, suspension, even revoking the liquor license. But that all depends on what their separate investigation finds. And all of this could prove moot. The Seabreeze property is in debt more than $2 million, and a foreclosure sale is scheduled on August 7th on the steps of the county building. Dan? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it, Phil. Now, we did try to contact McGinnis. He didn't answer our phone calls, nor did he respond when we visited his business. He ran for the second district supervisor seat in Santa Cruz County back in 2012 and lost to current supervisor Zach Friend.